What's up guys, welcome to the HSD Nation. These videos are for informational purposes only. Anybody that is tied to me, I've done business with, I do business with, this is not of their opinion, this is not their standing. They have nothing to do with this. This is me relaying a message, my opinions, and what I see. That is all this is. So now that I've told you the important part, let me give you the really important part. Right on over here. What's up, guys? I know it's late. I uh, just parked. It's I'm in uh, Chicago, and it's midnight. But I want to get this out there. Um, just I just watched the... Um, some information on that came out today about the uh, what's going on so uh, February 23rd is the new start date for the people's convoy uh, they're starting in the Barstow California area um, hopefully tomorrow Brian will be putting out the dates um, the route and all that um, now a lot of people are asking what is this for? Like, we don't have a federal mandate in the states. So, what we are going for is to end the Emergency Powers Act, um, which gives the president, any president, um, special powers when they declare an emergency. They can, they can do a uh, state of emergency, federal emergency or a financial emergency which means the power is now in the federal government's hands and that is that was started in 1920 which all of you know when the constitution and declaration of independence was made so that was not part of the constitution we are fighting to restore what was put in the Constitution. And, you know, so while I'm here, other people are saying, why truckers? Why now? Uh, like, what's the deal? Well, trucking as a whole is an over-regulated industry. Okay? They tell us when we can work, we have log books, we have to work when the clock says so. Not when we are feeling good or none of that. When the clock says so. So like, let's say I park at six o'clock in the afternoon. So my clock is up at four o'clock. So in order for me to maximize my time, I need to get up at 4 a.m. Then I can run 11 hours. That puts me at three p.m. shutting down, which means the next day I start at 1, or I just start at 9 o'clock every day, but I don't maximize my hours and work potential. So there's that. There's, we're only allowed to, to work 70 hours, right? So if I, let's say I sit at a shipper for 10 hours a day and I've already started my 14 hour clock I can't, I'm done I'm allowed to work 4 hours I can work the difference right so then there is we go to these places they don't care about us they don't have restrooms they hold us up we can't eat and it's part of people are saying oh it's part of the job well let me tell you something it wasn't always part of the job so, this, this whole mandate crossing the border, you have to do this or you can't do your job, it was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back. Because if you remember, when COVID first happened, it was all hail to the truckers, thank the truckers, support the truckers, they got rid of all hours of service. Um, it was all gone. 
We didn't have to run the log books. We didn't have to run the hours of service. Now, do I think that should be gone for good? No. But the point is, we are regulated till it's no longer convenient for the country or the powers to be. Now, as I said in another video, January 15th, the date that they started the mandatory backs across the border on both sides, right, on both sides, started on January 15th. Well, as far as COVID and trucking is concerned, January 15th is not a special day. I know what January 15th is. I'm not saying that's not a special day. But as in relation to the mandates, there's no reason for that day to be the day that you can no longer work without a, man, without a vaccine. There's just not. Some of us have health issues that it's pretty damn scary. If we get it, don't know what can happen. You know, so it, it's just a multitude of regulations and overreach. And it, it's always regulating the truckers, not the trucking industry. They don't, they don't regulate the shippers, the brokers, the dispatch, like none of that. Hell, they don't even regulate DOT. They're not even on the same page. So, this was just kind of the end of it. And, you know, as truckers, we've seen other people try to step up. They get shut down. Because, as much as I hate to say it, but I love to say that the country counts on us. Well, when we can no longer count on the country might want to rethink counting on us because at this rate you're not going to be able to count on us much longer there's a reason everybody's leaving the industry there's a reason so many people are retiring so with that being said thank a trucker respect the trucker everything you come from comes from a trucker simple even if you're going to say, nope, nope, comes off the train. Guarantee you that product touched the truck at least twice. Maybe three times. But that's it. So February 23rd is the kickoff in the Barstow, California area. And hopefully tomorrow, Brian will put out the route. As soon as he does, I will let you all know. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you later today. Probably not tomorrow. Later today. Peace.